Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to discuss how to create Azure functions in Python. Okay, so Python function we are going to create via Visual Studio Code. So make sure you have installed the Visual Studio Code IDE on your local machine or dev machine. Okay, so now uh, let's open the Visual Studio Code. I have the Visual Studio code already installed on my machine. I'll open that. I have opened that already. And here you need to click on this Azure button. Okay, now if you can able to see here, this is the create create new project. So we are going to create a new project for that. Click on that. Now you have to select a path you know, where you want to uh, you know save the project. Okay click on i mean browse the path from your local uh, system or dev machine okay then here it is asking which language you want to use right so since we are going to create a python function so we will use the python language here so select the language as python okay now this is an important thing like which trigger uh, you want to use here so http trigger is the uh, simple and basic one so we'll go ahead with that but as per your requirement you can use the trigger okay any of the trigger here okay so for the demo perspective i am selecting http trigger here okay now you have to provide a name demo python function one i'll give okay so you have to provide an unique name here okay now this is also very important thing authorization label you have to select so function anonymous or admin based on your requirement you can choose but here i am choosing function okay so you can able to see it started uh, the creation part okay it's actually created now okay so uh, just to make sure it's working fine what we'll do is let's run this and check if it is uh, fine okay so the f5 button will just press it started executing can able to see So you can able to see uh, this one is created this is the function which you have created since i have already one uh, function in the same solution it is showing me that as well so this is the one which we have created okay now we need to check it whether it's working fine or not right so for that copy this url okay and uh, go to the browser and in the browser just fetch the url okay so you can able to see this is showing the expected output and it is asking uh, name uh, in the query string you can pass a value what i'll do here is I'll, let's pass one value here name equal to seras okay you can able to see here we got the expected output hello ras this is the http triggered function executed successfully okay so as of now what we have done is we have created the function okay then we have verified locally also it's working fine so now the next step is we are going to deploy this to the azure portal okay so let's do that for that let's uh, go to the uh, visual studio code again okay now here you can able to see yeah you can able to see the azure button here click on that again now this is the button okay deploy to function app you can able to see here click on that so you can say uh, like if you have any existing function app you can choose that one or else you can create a new one also by clicking on the create new function app in azure okay so you have to enter a global unique name okay my demo i'll give this name let's make it one also okay 
So is the in preview uh, Python 3.9. You can choose a preview option or you can choose it whatever you need. So you'll choose the you have to uh, give the location here, the region. Okay, I'll give each US here. So you can able to see it started the you know creating all the stocks whatever needed here storage account and all the stocks you can able to see here okay it will take just few seconds to deploy it into azure then i'll show you where it is uh, like created and all. now you can able to see it created everything whatever needed and uh, now it is started deploying to that particular function now can able to see here it's it already done the i mean it is completed now the deployment okay now let's uh, go and verify in the portal whether it's actually deployed or not okay let's navigate to the uh, azure portal first i'll go there so this is my azure portal is the home page so to verify that click on this app services okay can able to see this uh, this is what we have created now and deployed here my python demo app one okay if we we'll go inside since we had uh, you know two functions there uh, which one was there before only with that same solution so uh, there are two uh, functions here okay so actually we have created this one demo python function one okay so click there just want to run and show that it's working fine so click on this code plus test link okay so you can able to see this is the um, file dot vi file okay click on the test run so you have to uh, so once you click on the test run button just click the run button here you can able to see showing that response code as 200 okay it means there is no issue at all and it's executed successfully and it is telling that pass a name uh, in the query string again if you want to see the output with that along with the name value okay what we'll do here is let's pass it name equal to value as raj i'll give let's click on run again you can able to see here this HTTP trigger function executed successfully. Okay, so in this video, we have seen like how to create the Azure function in Python. Then we have seen the uh, like uh, uh, we ran and saw that locally that it is working fine. Then what we have done is we have deployed uh, the same Azure function in Python, like Python Azure function in the Azure portal and in the azure portal also we have verified that it's working fine okay so this is what for today i thought to show you like how to create and deploy the azure function in python in the azure portal like how to deploy it thanks for watching the video if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel i will come up with uh, so many videos with the azure functionalities okay you can uh, get notification for that kindly press the bell button as well Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.